guys, welcome back. So today we have my May and June favorites together. Now that is because um, my May favorites were like too small, like there weren't plenty and I decided to just like mash them up together with my June favorites and then make like quite um balanced favorites video, whatever you call these. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do the May and June favorites together, so that's why you're here. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling and let's just go ahead and get started. I'll show you all my beauty favorites and my like my fashion, my other, my TV and films and TV series. My TV and films and TV series. No, my TV series and films favorites and also like my music, etc. etc. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So I'm going to start with my makeup favorites this month, these past two months, actually. I'm in such a weird mood today, so excuse me if I am a little bit weird in this video. So first I'm going to start with my beauty favorite, since this is kind of like a beauty-based kind of channel. But I do include others because I love like seeing other favorites. Anyways, I'm going to start with my beauty favorites and that is like makeup first. So the first thing I wanted to mention right before I forget is if you're wondering which lip I have on today that could like I think it matches like really well my eye makeup, I don't know, but I really like how this came out. And um, so my lippy is the Kaylin, Kaylin, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint in the shade number 5, and it's the, and well, I also have something on top, so I use two lip shades, and this one's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade 04 London. So yeah, they look like this, and together they make this, this is their baby. Yeah. Now I have three lip products that I really, really enjoyed the past two months and I've used them a ton. Seriously, a ton. So the first lip beat that I loved throughout these two months is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade 630 Seduction. I think it's 630, I'm not quite sure. I'll link it down below just in case. Um, as always, like I'll link everything down below and even the random bits that I also mentioned in this video. It says it's like a matte lip color, but it's not matte at all. And I don't like it when they say like, it's a matte lip color and it doesn't dry matte completely. But in this case, like I got really angry when it didn't dry matte for the first time. I was just like, ugh, not another product. And this is from the drugstore. So yeah, I got kind of, mad about that, but I um, actually ended up liking it afterward. It gives like such a nice like shine, like a healthy color to your lips. It's like not matte and drying. So for like an everyday color, I really enjoyed wearing this one when I wanted to wear some color on my lips and I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand. It has a normal Dofa applicator, kind of like lip lingerie ones. And if I'm honest, it smells kind of sweet vanilla like i'm not really sure this isn't really vanilla what i'm smelling but it has a scent and it's not quite strong but you can still smell it and after a while it, it's it like goes away so yeah this is how it looks like and it gives like that shiny look it dries down into like a satin finish so yeah it doesn't dry out completely and it's like really comfortable on the lips so i really like that the actual matte liquid lipstick that I've loved throughout the whole two months is this one right here and this is the shade 07 Satin Ribbon of the NYX Lip Lingerie Conduction and you know I love my nudes and my lip lingeries and this month this one's been my favorite it's kind of like a really pale nude but it's not like pink it's not pink it's like not too pinky I really don't like to have like pale pale nudes and then for them to be like quite pinky and have like a weird undertone I don't know it makes my lips look weird and I don't like how it looks with my teeth so um, I really like how this one is so this is like one of my favorite pale nudes so I've, I've loved this one and I've paired it I used it I used this lip color I think in my pastel makeup look and I think I also used it in my smoky eye look my like bronze sultry smoky kind of look I think I used it that one too so I paired both of them with a gloss, I think, and I love it like on its own and with a gloss. It just looks amazing, so I love it. Last but not least for the lip product section, it's the Clarence Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. Now, I've loved this. I'm in love with this thing because it is so hydrating and it's not like too sticky. Of course, like if you're in the car and if you have the windows down and you have your hair loose and it gets like stuck to your lips and that is really annoying, but... 
I've really loved this lip product so 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 much. I've loved it. I apply all the time. When I'm not wearing lipstick, I apply this. Like you can bet. If you see something glossy on my lips and I don't have like a lip product or anything and it's like just glossy, it's this. And it's amazing. Oh, I have it in the shade 06 mint and it smells so minty and sweet. Oh, I love it. It's not like those minty strong smells that you're like, ooh, or it's it's not like a kind of a mint that plumps your lips. It's just like quite, I don't know, sweet, a little bit refreshing, but not too much. And I just really love it. And I bought it in June and I think I just went down quite a bit, you know? So I definitely think I'll repurchase this because it's in my bag constantly. If I, I wherever I go, it's with me. If it's if I'm applying makeup, I apply it before I apply makeup. Um yeah, I just I, I love this. Now for face palettes, I've loved one palette this month and this is a limited edition one sadly and you can't get it anymore which is why I hate to mention it here but I just really wanted to mention it to you guys because some of you actually have it and if you do, we can relate, you know? But if you don't have it, then you, there are stuff like really similar to this one, it's just that I don't have anything similar to this, that's why I use it. Um, but this is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette and it looks like this, like you know I'm trying not to blind you here. It looks like this and it comes with six blush shades sorry for the mirror it comes with six blush shades and i particularly love these two but the past two months this one's been like my baby i love it so much i love applying these like right on the apples of my cheekbones because i really like to bring my highlight down right right here like you see oh yes yeah yeah um i would like to have that highlight and with this since it is a shimmery blush i, I used to hate shimmery blushes that is really hard to say um, but now I'm just in love with them. It gives you such a nice glow, a summery glow on your cheeks. And this shade particularly, it is so nice on my skin tone. So I really, really like this. And I do know there are some highlighters that are actually like shimmery and like not too pigmented like the Becca ones. The Becca ones are like beaming and blinding. But for example, I think the Cindy, no, is it Cindy Luminizer? Betty Luminizer? I don't know, one of those two. I always forget. Is like quite a similar shade to this the other day I swatched it and I'm like mmm that would make a nice cheekbone blush so I've been loving that and there's plenty of like highlighters that are like this pink I, I think the NYX one as well is like really nice so yeah those are like two other options if you like also a shimmery blush that gives you like a sheen on your cheeks today I'm not wearing it though I'm using a matte blush and I just a ton of highlight I didn't I, I don't know why I didn't wear it I honestly don't know here it is on my hand right here. I'm not trying to flip you off here. It's right here. See, it's like this wet look on my hand. Like my hand is here and it gives you like this wet shimmery blush tone. It's just it's amazing and I love it. Next, I have three eyeshadow palettes that I love this month so much and I couldn't stop using. Now I'm going to start with the one that I use the least because it's a colorful palette and this one is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette and, and this is in the palette 04 Brights. It's a Brights palette as you can see right here. Now if you're able to get this and you want to play with color and you like not, I won't really recommend it to like the ones that want to start out with color because they are really pigmented but affordable, like, I don't know, it's uh, it's up to you. Uh, for color, I actually recommend if you get like less pigmented eyeshadow so you don't make a mess. But um, if you want to play with color or you want a drugstore color palette, then this one is it. It has every single color on the rainbow. It's just so compact, nice, and it's so inexpensive for like the pigment of these eyeshadows. I believe this was 390 pesos. 426 something around that no more than 450 pesos and it comes with how many eyeshadows it comes with it comes with 16 eyeshadows and as you can see right here i'm just going to show you it comes with every single color of the rainbow and they're all equally as pigmented maybe just one or two not as pigmented as the other other ones but they are all pigmented and they blend beautifully now I've used these two on a tutorial it's my mustard eyes tutorial if you want to see it I'll link it down below um but I've swatched all of them on my hand and I've used like I've used a brush to see how pigmented they are with a brush and oh my gosh they are so pigmented and I love it I'll definitely do more looks with this palette because it's just my favorite I love it so much for eyeshadows that are on the neutral side, I'm wearing one of the palettes on my eyes today, just like one of them. And um, I really like how the look came out. So, 
I got for the very first time Morphe eyeshadows and I am so happy and so excited for this. Like I, I already used them in a tutorial. I used both of these palettes. You probably already know which ones they are. They're the, like the limited edition. I don't know. Maybe the boxes said limited edition, but they're still in the Morphe website in the US. So yeah, um, but I already used both of these in a tutorial. It's my sultry smoky bronze look. Um, but I'm just in love with these eyeshadows. They are so pigmented and you get 25 shadows and this whole palette was 440 pesos like what? What? That is unheard of At least I haven't heard of any palette being this pigmented like all of the eyeshadows are super pigmented super blendable super buttery And it's 440 pesos for this like I was like what? <laughs> Like, I, I categorize Morphe as a high-end brand because of the quality. It is just so breathtaking. Like, the eyeshadows, I, don't, I, I never thought I'd say breathtaking with an eyeshadow, but the eyeshadows, immediately, as I touched them and I used them with a brush, I was just, like, blown away. I couldn't, I couldn't. I, I was just like, oh, my God, it's too much for me. I swear, I can't believe they're this affordable. I know 440 pesos for a palette seems a bit, sometimes a bit much, but oh my gosh, the I'm not trying to like bash on brands or anything, but I'm just going to give you a comparison. Another like high-end palette that I have is like the Naked palettes. Everyone like knows the Naked palettes, the Urban Decay Naked palettes, and those are like 1,000 and something pesos. And this is 440. That's like at least a 600 peso difference. And with those, you get like what 12 shadows. And they're really thin the pants are huge on this the eyeshadows are so buttery and like the pigment is not comparable to the naked eyeshadows except blackout blackout is my favorite black eyeshadow ever and that is by urban decay aside from that like these are the most pigmented eyeshadows i have ever tried and i just love them so much and today i'm using this on my eyes by the way um the whole like the whole eye look is just this palette if you want a tutorial on this eye look, then just tell me and I'll do one for you. But um, I thought it was a, just like a really basic warm eye. But yeah, I'll definitely do one for you. But this is the Bronzed Mocha. This is the 25B, the Bronzed Mocha palette. Bronzed Mocha, Bronzed Mocha. I don't know. Um, but they are just stunning eyeshadows. And as you can see, like even when I move this around, the freaking shimmers like blind you they're so gorgeous and stunning and i also got the other one which is the copper spice palette which is more warm tones honestly i've been leaning towards this palette more than this one and that surprises me because i tend to go for like more warm tone looks and i thought i liked like this warm tone palette this just like says warm all over it but strangely i've used this one a little bit more i don't know but i still love them equally These are like my babies. If you want bold eyeshadow looks and neutrals, I think you're set with these two palettes. And on morphe.com, the US website, they do have a bundle of these two. So if you can and it ships to your country, I would definitely get these. Um, but I got these from a Mexican website, which is called Forana and, or Vorana, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but I got them from there and they, were, they had this massive sale and then they sold out there and I don't think they're restocking on them, I'm not sure. But they're not there anymore, so I can't link them to there, so I'll link it to the original Morphe website if they ship to you. Morphe, unfortunately, does not ship to Mexico, so yeah, that's a bit sad then. But um, I still have the eyeshadow palettes and I'm so happy. I feel like this video is going to be ages long because I keep on blabbering. I'm such a rambler, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're almost done with makeup. Now, for highlights, I have been loving these two highlights. And this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Champagne Pop. This is the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. And this is MAC Light Scapade. Now, I've loved like mixing these two. So first I apply like as my base highlighter, the Champagne Pop. I'll just show you quickly if you haven't seen it, but it's like all over the internet. So why wouldn't I be have seen it? Yeah, it looks like this and I'm wearing it like today. And then on top, I put the MAC Light Scapade. Give me a second. I put the MAC Light Scape Page. So if there had like a baby of these two, I'd be in love. Because I love like the champagne-y, pinky pop this gives to my skin. It looks quite natural, but it's still a little bit too dark for my skin tone. Sometimes like you can really see it right here. So I put this on top and it just like blends seamlessly. So if they had like a highlight of these two combined, I'd love it. I don't know if Moonstone is 
that, but I haven't tried it, so yeah. But for this month, I've been loving mixing these two, and this is the only highlight I've used this month, aside from one time I used Becca Opal, so the shimmering skin perfect. But yeah, these are, have been my favorite highlights for the past month and a half, I believe. Next for face, I have two items, three items, sorry. And the first one is a foundation. Now, I've mentioned this foundation in my channel every single time I use it. And I mentioned it in favorites, in my 2016 favorites, so you probably know what it is. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. And I love this foundation so much. It's my holy grail. I always go back to this when I have like weird skin days or I'm just looking for like, yes, I know my skin looks amazing with this. I go for this foundation. And this is the 117 equals YY25. Yeah, that's my fave. 225, not 25. 225. And um, I just love this. I'm running out, so I do need to go pick another one up. But it just like pains me because it's a bit expensive, but it's so worth the money and you get so much product. I got it last August and I still have quite a bit. It's just that I use it almost every single day. Yeah, so. I love this foundation so much and it, this, it, this is the foundation that gives me like this glowy look. I don't have it on today. Today I actually have a CC cream but for like my full coverage looks, I love this. It gives me like this dewy look and I do powder but it, it still gives me like this dewy full coverage look without looking like too matte and disgusting. Because my skin is tending to be a little bit more dry now so I've been loving this foundation. So yeah, I've loved this foundation a lot this month. And last month, I believe, as well. Next, I have a concealer, and this is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in the shade OO Alabaster. And this is like the palest concealer I've ever used, along with like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I ran out of that one and I haven't gone to replace it, but I found this one. And I like to make mix this one with my Tarte Maracuja one, and it gives me like this gorgeous highlight. I don't use this concealer by itself because I think it's like too light, too highlighty to actually cover my dark circles. So I like to use the Tarte Maracuja mixed with this one and it gives me just an amazing coverage. I love this so much. So I don't really have much more to talk about this, but yeah, I love it. And it's my NYX, so it's affordable. Yeah, get it. It's full coverage and waterproof and I absolutely love this. I just discovered this brand and this is the Gosh Copenhagen brand. I've never heard of it and I just saw it in the Bellissima stores here in Mexico. And I decided to take this because I was like, huh, illuminating eye roll-on, instant tightening. I like that. Let's see if that actually works because a ton of them never work. But actually, this does work. It, I don't feel it illuminating a lot my like my under eyes because I have really dark under eye circles like right in the sun, like right in the inner corner. But I do feel like it tightens and it primes for the concealer just like beautifully. It makes it go on amazing and um, I don't know it comes like with these like little balls at the end like they're three little roller balls and I just I've been loving this it's like tightening and it primes my under eyes for the concealer perfectly so if you want something like that here you go now for eyes I have a mascara which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Waterproof Mascara now this is not like the pinky one. I mean, they don't have the same wand, but it's kind of like the same thing. I don't know how to explain it fully, but this is waterproof. And the other one, the Lash Sensational one, I love it. But um, the only thing that I don't like is that it makes my eyelashes like plop down because it's not waterproof. Now, if there were like an exact version of that waterproof and I could find it, then I'd love it. But this is the like luscious full fan effect waterproof mascara. So I really like this because it does keep my eyelashes up. But I do think it's also the combination of my eyelash curlers, which are the e.l.f. eyelash curlers. They're $1 in USA. So if you can get these, like get them. The, um, the plastic thing on the inside and the eyelash curlers are actually really nice. So I do recommend those eyelash curlers. Next for my eyebrows, I have two products. And these are the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade 07 Espresso. And I've just loved this. Since I did my hair, that's another favorite, my hair. In case you didn't notice, um, I did my hair again. And... This time I went like for a balayage, balayage, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, um, kind of look. And I had like really dark hair, I don't know if you noticed, but then I have them like blonde strands again. It's not like quite highlighty, but I love my hair. And I got it done about a month ago. No, actually a month ago. I got it done a month ago and I've loved it. And um, since I got my hair like, or whatever you call that, I don't know. Um, 
it got like lighter here and I think my eyebrows match a little better when I use this rather than the well this shade which is espresso rather than the black one which is like a darker shade it's not black it's a darker shade so yeah um I really love the micro brow pencil it gives me like this natural brow look like the one I have on today I barely filled it in and I just have a ton of this brow gel which I'll mention right now but um, I've been loving this and it's really affordable and I'm going to run out probably in the next three months if I continue using it every single day so I need to go get a backup and for the brow gel I've been loving the L'Oreal Paris brow artist plumper in the shade medium dark now that's a little bit obvious but I've been loving this so much because it, it's kind of like replaced my ABH um, clear brow gel I'm running out of it and I do need to pick up another one but it does keep my brows like up all day and it has fibers in it which make them look like a little bit hairier and bushier so I really like this one and I'm going for like a natural brow look and this has done the job for the past two months and I love this so much yeah that was it for beauty oh my god I need to stretch next I'm going to go into my music now for music I have been loving tons of things, especially for like the past two months. I do listen to a lot of music and I have Spotify, so I constantly have new music going through my playlist and I listen to tons of new things, but I can tell you my favorites of this month uh, and the past month are the following. Now, the I love obviously Harry Styles' Harry, Harry Styles's new album, but my favorite songs out of his album are actually Woman and Sign of Times. I just love those two songs and if you haven't listened to his album I definitely recommend it and um, if you weren't a One Direction fan before um, this is kind of like a totally new vibe it's kind of like a pop rock kind of vibe I don't know how to explain it it's like really different I don't know how to explain the genre but I really re really 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 like these two songs which is Woman and Sign of Times and just love them so much and for Paramore they also came out with their new album around the same day or the same day I think it was the same day but for Paramore I've loved Hard Times it's their like the single to introduce their album and I've loved that song so much it's like so catchy and it makes me so like I don't know how to explain it like so like happy and like in the mood to do things and it's just like yeah let's be protective and let's do things and also when I'm having a kind of like a bad day I listen to it and then I just get happy I don't know music really influences my mood so <laughs> I really like that one and also rose colored boy is also really catchy and I don't know it's kind of like a retro -y vibe it gives me so I love that song also throughout May I loved um, the song called this girl and it's the Kung's Kung's versus cooking on three burners remix and I just blasted it the whole month every single time I was like driving and outside I was just I need to listen to the song I was obsessed so yeah I've loved this one song by Bot? Bote? I don't know I don't know how to pronounce the name I'll list all the songs and everything down below in case you're interested but the song is called Star Stars? Stars? Yeah, Stars by Bot and Coco Jaded and I love that song so much. It makes me so calm. You have no idea. I could be completely stressed and like have tons of th have tons of things on my brain and I put that and it just really calms me down. I don't know why. I I only have a couple of songs that can do that and I really like this song because of that. So I love that. With this song called Everything No by RK Fire. I just RK Fire, I said that really weird. Um but uh, it's by Arcade Fire and I I love that song. It makes me so happy and it's just like a really upbeat kind of song and I really like this. And I've loved Arcade Fire throughout the years. I've li listened to them since I was like 12. How old say? I? I don't know. But I just really love them. Yeah. So for TV series and films, I actually have a ton because I watch them like a crazy person, I have to admit. So, um... <laughs> For series, I have Sleepy Hollow, which I watched the f the end of season one. I watched season two, and I'm like halfway through season three. Then for Grimm, I watched everything for like one week. I, I binge watched that so hard. That was like really, really intense. I watched the whole of Grimm. I'm almost done. I'm just finishing up season six, but I just don't want it to end. So I'm like, ah. I haven't finished it. And then for 13 Reasons Why, I watched that in like one day. I watched that in May, like way back in May. 
And then I watched again one day all of the first season of the Shadowhunters on Netflix, the Mortal Instruments series. So yeah, I binge watched a lot this month. And now for films, I binge watched over and over and over again the Harry Potter series because I was just like, I, I miss it so much. I haven't watched them in so long. And I've, I think this is the third or fourth time I see it all over again this month only. I don't know how much in May, but in June I watched it once by myself, once with my sister. Then this is the, the third time, like the third time is with my mom and then I'm watching it by myself again, so. Yeah. And now for food, I had some food favorites and you know I love food. Um, for a snack, uh, kind of a healthy snack, I have loved hummus and pita bread. Oh my gosh, I, I don't like buying hummus from the store. It's like, to me, it's too garlicky and too lemony. So I like to make it by myself. So yeah, I do everything and I make my own homemade hummus and I just buy pita bread and I just dip it in and I have a ton because I love it so much and now I'm craving some. And then um, for a healthy option, a healthier option, I like to have a protein shake after I do exercise. And for that, I like mixing one banana, um, my protein powder, this chocolate. Uh, if, if my protein powder is chocolate, then I don't mix chocolate in. But if I do, I just a tiny bit of chocolate powder, peanut powder, like peanut butter powder. It's like kind of a weird thing, but it's peanut powder. And I think that's it. And I just mix it all together in my blender and it tastes so yud and so yummy. I love it. And also if you add some ice to it, it makes it a little bit thicker and like just a lot cooler. And I love that when it's really hot. But yeah. And then for a healthy dinner, I like to have salmon, like smoked salmon. Like an actual like slabs. Yeah, an actual piece of salmon. And I like just to have a little bit of that. Uh, with asparagus, spinach, and quinoa. So I like that kind of dinner and it's so yummy and so good. So I really like that. And then for a drink that I find quite healthy and like nice when I'm craving something sweet and I need some caffeine in me, I love matcha. I just recently discovered matcha, well not discovered, I just recently found matcha here in Mexico. I knew that matcha existed a long time before but I couldn't find it anywhere here and once I found it I was just like yes! And I'm, I make some la matcha lattes when I'm like craving a hot drink. And I make some matcha frappes when I feel like a little bit hot. Because it's getting a little bit hot here and and I just love drinking matcha like either hot or cold. Like those drinks are my favorite and I make them with almond milk, vanilla almond milk and some ice if it's like a frappe and if it's like warm I just add a little bit of honey and I just love it so much. It's so yummy. And now when I'm feeling a bit peckish, I like to have a little bit of the Lindt salted caramel chocolate. It's just so yummy and I know it's bad for you but sometimes uh, you can have a little bit of a treat and I love that so yeah it's really yummy I love salted caramel and with chocolate it's just oh, amazing. next for fashion I really loved like kind of a casual smart kind of streetwear sometimes like sometimes really casual and sometimes kind of smart like today I have some culottes on and that's one of my favorites I've loved them so much this month they're so comfy and so breezy when it gets really really hot but you still want to wear some like trousers and things but you don't want to fully commit to jeans <laughs> I have hiccups and I've also been loving like dungarees and like casual tees like today's not that casual I wanted to like quite dress up a bit I don't know um, but I've been loving some casual tees, dungarees and a striped maxi dress like something like really easy and summery and like quite monochromatic I tend to go for the same colors I just pick like here and there pops of colors and sometimes like a um, a print dress and things like that but my wardrobe is quite monochromatic so it matches like almost everything so I really like that now for the last category which is the others category I've loved certain things like here and there that I just wanted to mention in my videos and one of them is rose gold I'm wearing rose gold earrings today and I've just been loving rose gold everything rose gold I'm in my rose gold stage and I really like this and I've also loved for exercise and to calm me down uh, some yoga. So I do do it. I do do. I do do. <laughs> I do do exercise. And then um, I do sometimes on Saturday yoga when I want to like de-stress and relax and breathe. Especially when I'm feeling anxious. I just pop on a little bit of uh, relaxing music. Like my relaxing anxiety songs. And 
then I like to do some yoga and it really calms me down and like clears my mind and it's like really zen for me. Um, yeah, I'm just starting it out. I've never done it before so I'm just kind of still like a beginner but I wanted to mention it because I really like doing it and I never thought I did. I used to be like, yoga, what would you need that for? And I didn't really understand the concept behind it but now I do and I actually really like it. So yeah, if you have any kind of like overwhelming stress and you're feeling really, really anxious, like have anxiety, then I find yoga like a really nice thing to do when you're anxious or stressed. So I really, really love it. Yeah, um, but that's it. Finally. <laughs> Those are all of my favorites for the past two months. Maybe this video is huge among us and I'm so sorry if it's really, really long. But um, if you're still here with me, thank you so much for staying here and watching the video. And if you really like any of these products, tell me down below or if you purchase them or if you like them too and they were in your favorites, tell me and I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel down below. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. I love you guys so, so much. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, this new crazy mother...